Hi guys, in last section we had discussed about different tables and access space control. In this section, we will create user, create group and create a membership. So, you want to see the table, just go to our block application, click database administration. You see there are different tables are there. Authorization table, auth user, auth group, auth membership. When you click auth user, you find there is no record is there because there is no user we have created till now so what we'll do first we'll create a user so I'm using our block application which we created previously now to create a user just click and sign up so these are built-in feature provided by web 2 pi so create any user like uh, Ramesh Kumar email just provide r dot k at gmail dot com password just choose your password and sign up so our user is created and you see that is return that Ramesh is login and you now you go to this table and submit that run this query you find the one user Ramesh is created with encrypted password so this password admin can not cannot also access this password now what we'll do we create one group for our block application like who can post the block so we create a group called block poster so just go database administration auth group create a new record and we create a user called block poster and just provide some huh? people who can post the blocks and create new record is created now you go design and just go database as administration click this table you see there's a new group is created like user is already provided like any user you, you are creating any new user you are creating it will assign to user one and then one new group block poster now what we'll do we create a membership so just this auth membership will create a uh, connection between user and group so click new record now we'll select Ramesh and assign to block poster okay submit now we'll go this table or insert it see so the user Ramesh is user also and he's he's having the block poster axis who can post the block so in next section we'll discuss how we can use this user in coding fashion thank you